Hello and welcome to another edition of UVM Weekly. I'm Emily Rodney. And I'm Patrick Tracy. On today's show, we have campus news, U.S. and world news, weather, and SGA's new president and vice president, Bryce Jones and Kate Ash. But to start to show off, we will go with campus news with Emily. Take it away. Thanks, Patrick. Wednesday, April 8th, UVM Hillel will be holding a Passover Seder in the Billing Center at 6 p.m. For more information on getting tickets, go to the UVM Hillel website at www.uvmhillel.org. Thursday, the 9th, UVM's men hockey will be playing Boston University in the NCAA Hockey Championship in Washington, D.C. at the Verizon Center. For those who aren't going to make it down there, make sure to check out what local eateries are playing the game in the Burlington area. Lastly, the Festival of One X tickets are on sale. They are $7 for students and non-students. The performances will start April 16th and go throughout the weekend. That's all for Campus News. Now we'll head over to Patrick with U.S. and World News. Thanks, Emily. A new bill giving the FDA new powers over tobacco products has swept through the House today with a 298 to 112 vote. Now this bill will allow the FDA to restrict harmful chemicals in current tobacco products like nicotine and possibly menthol depending on further studies. However, this bill is predicted to have more trouble in the Senate due to public health advocates and senators who belong to large tobacco producing states. If this bill passes, the FDA will also have the ability to approve and reject new tobacco products, place harsher marketing restrictions on these products, and expand warning labels on packages. Now in world news, Obama's first world appearance as president at the G20 summit in London led to new ideas to heal the world's economy. The G20 members came to a decision to use $1.1 trillion to help revitalize the crippled world economy. Now this money will be used as loans and to help bail out troubled countries. Other agreements include regulation on hedge funds, enforcing sanctions on agencies not making tax information public, capping bankers' pay and bonuses, and naming and shaming countries who do not support fair trade. Now that's it for U.S. and world news. Now we'll take a quick break, and when we get back, we'll have an update on SGA's presidents and vice president, Bryce Jones and Kate Ash. I'm here with Bryce Jones and Kate Ash, President and Vice President-Elect of SGA. Now, a few questions for you. I was reading your uh, article in the Cynic, and I was wondering, you mentioned um, transparency and visibility. I was wondering if you could tell me what you meant by that. Okay, I'll go ahead and start. Really what we mean by that is trying to make SGA a more visible body in the projects and the initiatives and really the information that we're gathering and working on. So whether that means from our positions as the Executive President and Vice President, or whether we're talking about the chairs or really the issues that we're finding students have a real issue in, is how, how do we get that information out, out to the public? How do, how do we get that back to the students? It's really about getting the means, too, for students to be able to see it be a transparent government. And, for example, this past term, we uh, passed an act, a bill, um, that allows for our votes to be recorded. And so students will be allowed to look up their senators and see how they're voting and it's it's these kind of initiatives that need to increase on Senate so that students have the ability to see that it is a transparent government. And you also mentioned you want to create um, a strong executive committee. In what ways do you think you would achieve that and what do you think would need to be done? Bryce and I are actually working on that right now. <laughs> we, um, right. I, I think really we, we both identify this as our, our first and primary real big task um, and, and certainly a challenge. Uh, we, we have a lot of really committed and a lot of really experienced people on Senate. And, you know, it's certainly going to change with, you know, the diagnostic who, who, who really gets reelected um, or elected for the first time. Um, so, so what we're trying to do is, you know, we're receiving applications, reviewing that, and we're looking for candidates who are really willing to be creative, to, to go into imaginative thinking, but, but also really working with the goals that we have with the organization for making it strong, for making it transparent, for, for making it really a representative government. So really what our, what our task is, is, is to, find, to find chairs and to find an executive committee who are able to work with and, and really establish some 
similarly strong commitments, but also allow them for, for personal growth as well. Another question is, uh, what are some of your concerns you feel are affecting the UVM community and the Brooklyn community in a larger sense? I think one of the biggest concerns, obviously, is the budget. Um, but that's certainly been something that's been concentrated a lot. And I, I think something that hasn't been looked at so much um, and something that one of our committees, the Committee on Legislative Action, has really, really been focusing on is a relationship with the Burlington community and the residents downtown. And a broader question, um, what are your goals for next year? Like, what's your agenda? What do you want to have in place by this, this moment next year? One I really hope to accomplish is a strong networking system. I would really like to see right next year a system that's in place that, you know, is effectively networking and communicating with everybody. You know, the clubs really make up 80% of what SGA is, and 20% is really the SGA itself. And, and I would really love to see that be realistic, and I would love students to feel that they were that they were really a part of that big umbrella, and that they were a part of that club. Yeah. Obviously clubs, you know, all have their own agendas and, you know, are doing their own things, but I think that's where we should step in and connect them and be, you know, be the ones that are seeking them rather than them seeking us. And a uh, broader question, what would you like to do? What's the first thing you would like to tackle? I know you discussed it a little more with the executive committee, but what's the first thing you want to tackle as SGA president and vice president? I think the first thing is really just stepping into the office and accepting the role. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's a big change. It's obviously a very big contrast um, for me, particularly. I have, I have not been a chair, um, so I, I'm really stepping into it's the different waters here, and I, I'm thrilled. I'm really? creating the foundation of the structure physically, but then also to really get down in depth this, even into the summer, about all the little details and how I can figure out a, an effective way that will allow for us to be able to come back. And I think that the more time we put in beforehand will be much better rather than coming back in the fall and then it all coming on to us without us figuring out a way or preparing for it. So that's my first goal. Well, thank you very much. And if you guys want to read more, go grab a cynic. Stay tuned to UVM TV. We're sure to have some more coverage this year. Thank you again, Bryce Jones and Kate Ash. Thank you. Have a good night. Hi. Welcome back to UVM TV. I'm Patrick Tracy, and I'm interviewing Katie Rifkin, our SJ representative. So um, tell me what you have going on, Katie. Okay, well, um, next week we have voting for elections, mm -hmm. um, which starts next Tuesday, um, April 7th, um, and goes until April 8th. Um, and that's really big. It's the elections for next year's Senate. Um, and the voting will be on the links. Okay. Um, and so for those of you who don't know what it is, it's the online website for the Student Government Association. It has all the clubs. Um, and you'll get an email out um, probably from Jay Taylor um, telling like how exactly, step by step, how you go around voting. Yeah. Um, so that's difficult for me when I voted for uh, vice president and president. Yeah. I was like, oh, don't let that do it. So it's good that now you know. Yeah. And um, what's going on with uh, Vermont Yankee? Yeah, um, we actually, we had um, Vermont Yankee, I know we, I came on and spoke about this a couple weeks ago, but um, both Vermont Yankee and VPIRG, the um, Vermont Public Interest Research Group, um, came to SGA and spoke. Um, and recently we've had a lot of discussion about um, a resolution um, either supporting um, Vermont Yankee or against it. And um, this resolution actually hasn't been written yet, or it wasn't written at the Tuesday meeting, but we had a lot of um, protesters who came to the meeting against it. Um, and that was really interesting. Um, there was some miscommunication there. We weren't really sure how they found out oh. or like, that there was going to be a piece of legislation written um, when there actually wasn't one written at the time. But, um, so, so is this a hearing for the legislation? Or? Um, no, we're actually um, going to be presenting the legislation next week at our next okay. meeting. Um, so hopefully we'll have those same people back again, and hopefully we can see some support maybe from people who support Vermont Yankee coming out as well and talking to us because it's hard when you just see one side and you don't really know what the rest of the campus is feeling. So That's very true, very true. Yeah. All right, now did you actually see the uh, dancers this morning? No. Oh yes, right outside the library there is these guys in hazmat suits and uh, <laughs> gas masks doing like some techno robot dancing against. Oh, wait, wait, are you serious? Really? Yeah, it was like there was on a truck <laughs> with like a solar panel on it, and they're just dancing to stop from my Yankee. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I danced uh, a little bit. It was yeah, entertaining. Things people will do when they really like believe in something. They dance. I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> they don't pass legislation. They dance. <laughs> All right, and what do you have going on with gay marriage? Um, well, we actually it was two weeks ago. I think we um, passed a resolution um, supporting um, gay marriage in Vermont. And I know that recently, actually tonight, um, I think they're voting tonight at the House of Representatives um, on that finally. 
So we'll get to hear how that turns out. I mean, That's it's good. we said we um, our vote actually or our resolution in support of it, I believe, um, goes. Well, it, it's just basically saying that the Student Government Association at the University of Vermont supports it. I don't know how much impact it'll have, but um, this is something I think, at least if you believe strongly in it, it's something that um, students should really support because um, Governor Douglas, like, that's something that he needs to know is mm -hmm. that there's so many people who feel so strongly about this. Especially when he's got that veto hanging over everybody's heads. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Yeah, great. And we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back soon. Hello and welcome back to UVM Weekly. Now we're going to take a quick look at the weather. Great, uh, so not such a great week. No. Um, the weather is gonna be a little crummy. Some showers, Monday, snow showers on Tuesday. I do not like the looks of that. Do not. No. Thursday looks like the only nice day. A little bit of um, gold right there but still a little chilly. I wanted yeah. to get up to the 60s like this past uh, Thursday. It was extremely mm. nice. Today, so. this morning, did you get outside? Well, yes, this yeah. past Thursday. Oh, oh, yes, this past Thursday. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, of course. Oh. Um, was, <laughs> I really, I actually, no, I have, on Thursdays, I have class from 8.30 in the morning till this. Well, oh really? Yeah, till oh, fi wow. five thirty. Five thirty at night. Um, so that's a little, a, a bit of a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, it really stinks. Like, ah, oh, such a great, great weather today. Oh, oh, exams. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, you Catch had a big day. one last week, right? I did. I had a poli sci exam. Yeah. yeah. How did that I, go? I think it went well. I hope it went well. Mm -hmm. So, mm, it's kind okay. of bad. Yeah. Well, this week also we have a few holidays coming up. We have Passover and we also have mm -hmm. Easter. I'm I use eggs. Uh, yeah. Oh, Matzah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh, I know, I'm going home for Passover, so I won't be here next week, but I think we're going to have a new host try it out. All right. Yeah, mm. I think maybe right. someone from inside. Who knows? Yeah. But also, we always want to say if you are ever looking for a new club to join, or something to hang out with really cool people. We are really cool. We have UVM TV meetings on Sunday at 7 o'clock. So we meet in the Davis Center um, in the SGA offices right around the UVM TV desk. Third so if floor. you want to become a television cool star. Want to become a cool kid like us. Yes, please stop by. Okay, so that's all we have for UVM Weekly. I'm Emily Rodney. And I'm Patrick Tracy. See you next week.